Hey, happy Friday to you. Welcome to an end of the work week edition of 5 Minutes with Phil. Thanks so much for joining me here today. Glad to have you. Um, I want to take a look uh, at, a, at a subject in Scripture, and, and we actually get this subject a lot in Scripture, and that is uh, the subject of waiting. Waiting. Oh, wow. Uh, honestly, is, is, there a, is there a room that brings uh, more anxiety to you at times than the waiting room in a doctor's office, right? You know, when, when, you're, when you're put into a room to wait for <clears throat> in a, in a, an appointment or for uh, results or, um, or what the, maybe you're put into a room to wait to find out what's wrong with your car. <laughs> I mean, oh man, that could just bring a lot of anxiety uh, in our lives. And you know what? Uh, spiritually, when we're waiting for God to do something, and we're waiting for God to answer us. Um, I think that brings out the same kind of anxiety. That is rough. That is hard to deal with. And uh, the scripture talks about that. And uh, why don't I show it to you? Okay, I'm in Psalm 27, verse 14. This is the last verse in a very powerful chapter in the book of Psalms. And here's what it says. Wait patiently for the Lord. Be brave and courageous. Yes, wait patiently for the Lord. So we're actually admonished, we're, we're commanded in Scripture to wait for the Lord. And with that comes, and, and, and I want you to follow this because here's the deal, okay? Sometimes, sometimes I think we get it in our head that uh, uh, waiting on God is kind of a, um, it's kind of a crutch, right? It's kind of the easy way out, or, or, or it's, it's very indifferent. Maybe I should say that. And, and waiting on God, it's like, well, you're not doing anything. And what's interesting, I read this, and, and David equates waiting patiently on the Lord with being brave and being courageous. Isn't that interesting? Um, waiting on God is a very brave and a very courageous thing to do. Because I think we get it wired in our heads that, uh, well, it's the old saying, right? Don't just stand there, do something, right? And sometimes I think God says, don't just do something, stand there. <laughs> don't just do something, stand there. In other words, God, I think God, and, and let me pause here. Sometimes the Lord directs us to do certain things in order for an answer to come. But but many times there's this delay, this holy delay is what I call it, where we wait on God. And maybe you're there right now. Maybe you've been praying about something and praying for something and uh, really uh, expecting God to give you an answer. And it's not like you're asking out of bad motives. You're not asking for something terrible. Yeah, You're, you're believing God for, for uh, an answered prayer, which seems really honest and really seems sincere and it's a good thing to pray for and then that moment between amen and seeing the answer amen and the answer that is the waiting game that is the waiting time and I want to encourage you today to know that it takes a great amount of boldness and courage and spiritual maturity to continue to wait on God don't give up on God. Some people get so tired of waiting, they just give up. And I think that is a huge mistake. Rather, I think God would say, look, keep hanging in there. Okay. And what does another verse say? They that wait upon the Lord shall what? They will renew their strength. Waiting on God is actually a strengthening thing for all of us when we trust him and we put our hope in him. So I want to encourage those of you that are in the waiting room spiritually. Keep hanging in there. Don't give up. It takes courage to do what you're doing. It's tough. It's difficult. But keep waiting on God. And he will give you the strength. And the answer is coming. Keep believing. Okay? 
All right, I got to let you go. Thanks for joining me. We love you. I pray you have a great weekend. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.